What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we're checking out a brand new site that just got dropped here in 2024 by CBE. This is the Trek Pro Micro 3V. Now this is a site that I've personally been waiting for for a long time. It is a three pin vertical that gives you the ability to adjust your pin gap. Now I know Spot Hog introduced their version of this a couple years back. I tested that site out and in my opinion they kind of flopped on that design because it was a super bulky site and there was a lot of weight to it. Whereas if you take a look at the CBE, obviously they've maintained a compact site and it's also coming in pretty lightweight, definitely when compared to some of the other sites that are available on the market. So in this video, we're just gonna talk about the, the features, the specs, uh, and then also I wanna talk about what you're gonna get in the box for the price point that's offered at on this site. And then lastly, we'll talk about the site in process because it is a little different when compared to some of the other sites that are available on the market. So the CBE 3V is constructed a 6061 aluminum it does have an anodized finish as i already mentioned it is a three pin vertical giving you the ability to adjust your pin gap now your top pin and your bottom pin are going to be the only two that you can dial in uh, your middle pin is going to stay stationary and we'll talk about that a little bit later in the site and process now obviously this is a slider site so you can set this up for hunting and you can also use this out at a total archery challenge event and have the ability to shoot super long distances now with What's nice about this site is the fact that it does set up so you can have a zero stop. And that's something that I've talked about on this channel before in some of our other reviews. I like slider sites that have zero stops, definitely in hunting situations, because if you make any type of adjustment in the dark and you need to roll back up or dial back up, you know once you hit the top of your range that your pins are zeroed back in at 20, 30, and 40. Now, when it comes to actually adjusting this site, uh, there is two different adjustments on your windage. You have a major adjustment that you can do uh, by cracking this front screw and moving the site housing left or right. But once you kind of get that dialed in, then you can go ahead, crack this lever here and micro adjust your windage left or right as well. Now, when it comes to sighting in the elevation, you're gonna crack these two screws on the side of the site, and then you're gonna move the scope housing up and down on the slide rail, and that's how you're gonna actually zero in uh, your pin at first. Now, that's gonna ensure that you do set this up to have a zero stop, and it's also gonna help ensure that you have the maximum amount of arrow clearance uh, when you start to shoot some of those longer distances. And what I like about this design um, is that you don't have to necessarily move the bracket right away. Um, you do have a a lot of play on that slide rail. So most bows, um, I, I highly doubt that you'll ever have to actually realign this whole uh, housing assembly on this dovetail. Uh, and what's nice about that is it limits the amount of times that you actually have to re-level out the site. Now this site also offers you the ability to dial in your first, second, and third access. Having a first access adjustment is extremely beneficial because it ensures that the, the site is actually level to the riser of the bow. Um, and then from there you dial in your second and third axis, which is critical when you start shooting uphill and downhill. Now, um, as far as the pins go, this particular site is set up with a 10 thousandths pin. They do also offer this in a 19 thousandths pin. Their pin brightness is very comparable to a black gold site. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with the fact that they have their fibers stored on the very top of the site. So it's 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 getting the most amount of sunlight that it possibly can. Um, this site does not have an auto adjust as far as the dimming. They actually have this slide cover, which is nice because you can kind of tailor how much brightness you want depending depending on your, your hunting situation. If you're if you're sitting in, a, in a, a box blind or in a blind, obviously having it wide open is gonna allow the most sunlight to come into those fibers. But if you're in an area where it's wide open, not a lot of tree cover, you can go ahead and slide this over to reduce that pin glow. Now, another really nice feature about the, the 3V is it does give you the ability to change out the mounting bracket. So if you buy this in a dovetail that's compatible with the Matthews bridge lock and then you change bow manufacturers later, you don't have to go and buy a brand new site you can just buy a pick mount um, or a, a direct dovetail mount uh, without having like i said to purchase a brand new site so that is something that is very nice now as far as like what comes in the box um, you're actually getting a decent amount of stuff um, that's included with this site you are going to get a total of four site color rings so it comes stock with white but you also have a, a green a red and then also a yellow um, you have metal site tapes which is also a huge plus 
plus because you don't have to worry about these getting wet and damaged while you're out in the field. And then what I was really surprised by is that it actually comes with a light. So this site does give you the ability to run a light right here on the bottom. You can just go ahead and screw that in. Um, most site manufacturers make you buy that as an accessory and it's going to range anywhere from $20 to $30 depending on where you buy it from. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is the site in process because like I said it is a little different when compared to any other site that I've shot um, or sited in previously. Now the first step that you want to do is just make sure that you unlock your sight on the side. Um, if you're a right-handed shooter, that lock is located on the left side. Uh, but what you want to do is unlock that and, and roll this sight all the way to the very top. Now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to figure out where your 30-yard pin is hitting, and that's going to be your middle pin. And again, the way that you're going to do that is, is unlock this sight housing from this slider rail and make that adjustment that way. Now once you figure out where your 30 is, you can go back, figure out where your 20 is hitting and again you're going to micro adjust that by unlocking this set screw and then turning this allen key on the bottom of the site to raise or lower that post and then from there you're going to figure out where your 40 is exact same way unlock that set screw and then turn that allen key on the bottom to raise or lower that post now once you've completed that all three of your pins are sighted in at 20 30 and 40. now from there you can go ahead and move forward with your sighting process to select the sight tape now now, according to the instructions, you're going to use your top pin only and you're going to utilize the elevation knob on the side to figure out where your 30 yard mark is. Now, once you've hit that 30 yard mark, you're going to make a dash or a line on this blank sight tape. And then from there, you're going to go ahead and walk that top pin all the way out to 60 yards. Now, once you've figured out where 60 yards is, you're going to make another line and then you're going to grab their sight gauge tool that comes included in the package. You're just going to line that up on those on those sight lines and then from there it's going to give you a letter which is going to correlate over to your metal sight tapes. And then from there you're just going to unscrew this blank sight tape and then go ahead and slap on your, your metal sight tape. Now once you've done that, you can go ahead and return the sight to the home position, returning that top pin at 20. You're going to line that top indicator at 20 and then your bottom indicator at 40. And then your two pins, your top and bottom, are going to be your floating pins so as you start to slide down you're, you're not going to have a pin indicator for your or for your middle pin your third pin um, so overall i think it's a super nice site uh, the one improvement that I would like to see is obviously to have a third pin indicator that floats through the full range of the sight tape. I'm not sure why they decided to do that, uh, but it's, it is the way that it's set up. Now, um, this site is available at Sunrise Archery located out in Fenton, Michigan. So if you guys live in the southeastern Michigan area, you want to check this site out. Um, they do have these in stock. It's coming in at $299. Again, a very reasonable price point. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. If you guys have any other questions, you know that you can leave me a comment below you can always reach out to me directly on instagram uh, if you guys have not subscribed to the channel please do so your guys support greatly helps us out keeps us doing what we're doing and until next time stay safe stay healthy we'll see you on the next one